so guys welcome and welcome back to my channel it's your girl Sedi, and yes i'm back again with another video so on this channel we do everything fake lifestyle and weight loss videos so as you can see from the title of the video i'm here to tell you a story or a revelation that god gave me and this revelation looking at my life i can say it applies to me and it can also apply to my generation or to other christians out there so that they know what to do and what not to do in these times so let's get right into it so um, this was a few weeks ago i had finished creating content the whole day I, I was creating content i think i made a video about how i backslided if not that video some other video then i made a video so it was a hectic day for me i was really tired and after making the video, I remember I went to TikTok as well to create some content for my TikTok page. And I had done a video for my, um, I had created content for my TikTok page as well. And I went live on that particular day. So at the end of the day, I was really exhausted. I went to take my bath and I came to retire to bed. And I was supposed to read my Bible, do a Bible study and then read a book read a christian book for about 10 pages or so before i go to sleep so but i was really tired i was really tired and exhausted so i don't know i was just there i was thinking whether to read or not i don't even know when i fell into sleep so when i was going deep into sleep i told myself that i was going to wake up at midnight to pray i pray with alpha our pastor elvis Ajimani. if you don't know him we normally pray at midnight so i told myself whilst i was drifting into sleep that i would wake up to pray so i went into sleep that was around 10 30 p.m thereabouts and the prayers is around 12 um 12 a.m every day so i slept and i just saw myself that's this is where the dream begins i see myself on on a dark street i was with my friend I see myself on a, on a dark street in the evening. So we were walking on the street. I was having a conversation with my friend. And then my friend told me that she wanted to go ease herself. So I asked her to go look around. Too. So she found a place and she went to ease herself. Whilst I was on the street, I noticed a little child, a baby girl. Not a baby, but a child, a girl that was on the street and was crying now let's take this that let's take it that it was dark and it was in the middle of the night like around midnight thereabout so this little girl was on the street and she was crying and there were people on the streets that were coming close to her to ask her what is the problem why are you crying and anytime anybody would come close to her to ask what was the problem she would bites these people and then they will fall down dead so that is what i saw so i saw it happen to one particular lady and then all of a sudden fear gripped me and then i, I wanted to run away but in my attempt to run away she caught a glimpse of me and then she followed me so i ran away into the toilet where my friend was easing herself i ran away there and then when I went, I went into one of the rooms of the toilet, but the door wasn't well structured. So you could still see me from outside. So I was at the beginning of the toilet building. I was in one of the rooms there. And then she walked into the toilet and then she went to the far end of the toilet. So she was pacing up and down in the toilet. So when at the moment when I entered the toilet, she i was praying in tongues because what i saw got me scared i was really scared that if this girl is to get hold of me she's going to bite me just like the way she was biting people she's going to bite me and then i would be dead so i was scared so when i entered the toilet i was praying speaking in tongues and in that moment so i was scared because i knew that I had just backslided from my faith and I was come, I was now trying to come back 
to the things of God and I was growing myself spiritually. So I wasn't so sure of my my authority in Christ, the authority that I had in Christ, but I was still speaking in tongues. So the girl came to the toilet and she was pacing in the room up and down and she was still crying. And knowing that she was using her tears to lure people to come to her, I didn't even come out when she was crying. And my friend was just in the toilet easing herself. It's like she wasn't hearing what was going on. And I was very much aware of everything that was going on. So I was praying that she shouldn't come out. And then I would also not come out. When she's done pacing up and down, she would get tired and leave. But she didn't get tired. And she didn't leave. She was pacing up and down till, uh, till she, she walked towards me. It was the moment when she walked towards me that I had to sum up courage. And then I came out. When I came out, all this while I was speaking in tongues. So when I came out, I held her by her hand. She was a very little girl. So I held her by her hand this way. And all of a sudden, the tongues I started speaking just changed to a different kind of tongues. I feel like this tongues was different because I know the tongues I speak. And the tongues that was coming out of my mouth at that time, it was different. And it carried a certain kind of power, a different level of power. So I came out, I held her hand, I started speaking in a different level of tongues. And I was praying and we were, so it was like a, a battle, a war. So I was praying, 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 speaking in tongues. And she was also trying to bite me, but I was being very careful at the same time praying. So it continued for a while and she didn't, she wasn't able to succeed, but God willing, God helped me and I overcame her and then she just fell down flat dead. So I came out of the toilet, that was when I came out of the toilet and then my friend also came out of the toilet. So I, when I came out, I realized that there was a, a whole group of people. So she was sent to lure people to bite and then you fall down dead. And then there were people around, if you fall down dead, they will pick up your bodies to go and do stuff with it. That side of the dream wasn't really clear to me, but that is what I can see. There were people around the vicinity, but they weren't showing when she was crying to bite people. But after they had beaten you and you'd fall down and fall down dead, people would come and take your body and do what they want to do with it so when i had succeeded in fighting this girl and she fell down dead i came out with my friend and when i came out with my friend on the same street i saw these people around so in the same spirit i was praying 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 and god willing i was able to overcome all of them and then it was in that moment that i woke up when i woke up i was like what kind of dream is this I was happy I was happy that this spirit this child didn't bite me in the dream because if we want to give explanation to this dream it could mean that someone being on a dark street anything dark doesn't represent anything good we are children of light so if I should see myself somewhere it should be in the light but I saw myself in a dark place in the midnight where there was nobody but an enemy that was coming to was luring people with their with her cries wanting people to come so what the meaning i gave to this dream is that we are actually in a dark world as christians we are in a dark world and the enemy is on the enemy is there lure, using things to lure us so if you are carnally minded and you are not in the spirit you are not active in the spirit the enemy will easily get you through their, their cries in the physical realms it might be something appealing it might be anything they can use to get you if you are carnally minded the word of god says that for we do not fight against flesh and blood but against principalities in high places so everything happening here is spiritual so when that happened and i woke up of in the dream i didn't understand it at first but i spoke to 
a few of my friends and they gave me meaning and i was like this is true this is true so it's just telling us it, the dream was just telling me to build myself up in the spirit that there are so many things the enemy is planting in our world right now that would want to take us away from the things of god now take it this way if i had not been on fire for god this little child would have beaten me and i would have fall i would, I would just fall down dead i would take it that those people that the child was able to successfully bite them and they fell down dead i would take it that they were not strong spiritually because if they were strong spiritually they would be able to discern that this girl she is not a normal girl this baby she's not she's not a normal baby to be crying at that time in the middle of the night so it's just it just tells me that the enemy is putting stuff around in this world to lure us to him to destroy our souls to destroy our spirits to destroy our our salvation anything at all he can use in these times to destroy our salvation to destroy our spirit to destroy our knowledge of god he's going to do it so let's just be on guard as christians let us take the things of god seriously let us not in any way faint in our prayers let us not faint in our bible studies let us not faint in our fellowship let's yearn to grow every day and god is going to reveal these things to us day in day out when the enemy wants to attack you and you are in the things of god the spirit will give you discernment and before that thing will come to you he has revealed it to you or he has revealed it to somebody close to you so the bible the, um, there's this saying that god reveals to redeem so i believe that this dream that i got he this dream that i got god revealed it to me so that i would know that this is what is happening around me or this is what is happening in the world and i should be careful about it so fast forward to um some days later i was on tiktok i'm normally on tiktok i follow this man of god and he preaches i listen and he's a prophet so fast forward to sitting to a few days I was on TikTok and I joined this man's live and he was prophesying. So I also requested to join the prophecy. So he picked me and then he gave some prophecies and he was like, what he sees, if I'm not careful, um, someone, somebody would want to help me. Somebody would want to help me, but that person would want to have access to my body before helping me and if i don't know and if i don't know and i agree to do whatever i'm doing whatever i do with that person that would be the, the beginning of destruction in my life that's what the person that's what the prophet said that this person will come on my way i will meet this person on the internet and the person would want to help me but if i'm not very careful and i agree that this person has to sleep with me before before he helps me then it means that my life will be destroyed i would go back to fornication i would go back to the things of the world immorality and all of those things so when he said that i was like I was surprised i had forgotten about the dream but it was today that i decided to come talk about this revelation that it occurred to me that this is what god was revealing to me this is what god was revealing to me and he confirmed it through a prophet of god for me so let's 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 just be let's just be high in the spirit let's let's be sensitive in the things of the spirit that way there is no there is no way, there is no way the enemy can dream of attacking us and come to us because we are children of the light and the enemy doesn't like anything that has to do with light. He doesn't like anything that has to do with light. So let's just put ourselves into God, study the word, be consistent. Let's try to be diligent in whatever we are doing and God will see us through because this work, this earthly work is not an easy one, but with God, it's, it is possible with God. We will, we, will, we, will sing, we will sing praises. So guys, that is my, my, my little story about the dream God gave me. Now, before I end this video, I want to say that 
I have been having more of these dreams, but I have never really taken time to. I have never really taken time to try to understand it. I just know that anytime I'm on fire for God, God reveals to me, God speaks to me in dreams. By I just I always see myself fighting demons, fighting evil spirits, and glory to God, they never overcome me. It's either I overcome them or we are still in the fight and then I wake up in the dream. So glory to God. That is how God speaks to me as well, I, be, I believe. So yeah, guys. So if you enjoyed this video or you feel you can relate to this video, please leave your comments in the comment section below. Like this video. Share to your friends and family.